we are on our way to Copper Harbor, located in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. We spent the night here, had a fire, made some chicken and rice, and tomorrow we'll take a boat to our destination. Right now, we are crossing Lake Superior, the largest freshwater lake in the world. It is also the third largest by volume, and it holds 10% of the Earth's fresh water. At the other side of this lake, we are going to visit Isle Royal National Park. Isle Royal is a remote wilderness archipelago in the northwest corner of Lake Superior. It is the largest natural island on the lake and it includes 894 square miles, which is almost three times the size of New York City. Isle Royal has the longest predator prey study in the entire world. The study started in 1958 and it follows the relationship between two large animals, the moose and the wolf. After years of study, scientists believe that moose arrived on the island in the early 1900s. About 50 years later, wolves arrived on the scene. Most believe that this happened through the wolves crossing an ice bridge on Lake Superior. There are two different types of species. The generalist species, and the specialist species. Both the moose and the wolf are considered to be a generalist species. This is because they are able to adapt to new environments very easily. Because they are both generalists, they were able to survive on the island even after the ice bridge melted. Plants and animals can also be classified as either an R-selected or K-selected species. Our selected species tend to be smaller in size, have many offspring, invest minimal energy in their offspring, mature early, have short lives, and may reproduce only once in their lifetime. Competition for resources in our selected species habitats is typically lower. Two examples of our selected species are butterflies and most wildflowers. However, K selected species tend to be larger have fewer offspring, invest a lot of energy in their offspring, mature after many years, have long lifespans, and reproduce more than once in their lifetime.
competitions for resources in case-selected species habitats is usually relatively high. Two examples of a case-selected species are both the moose and the wolf. To help you remember, K selected care for their offspring. And there is competition for resources. R selected reproduce rapidly. This competition and availability of resources can affect the population and population growth of these animals. A population is a group of animals that breed and live together in the same place at the same time. We can study animal population dynamics by understanding what they eat and what eats them basically their food chain. For example, balsam fir trees grow on Isle Royal. Moose eat the balsam fir and wolves eat the moose. If the population of wolves decreases, then the moose population will increase because there are less predators. And their greater populations will eat more balsam fir causing its population to decrease ultimately resulting in a decrease of the moose populations as well, because there are less resources. We can also understand population dynamics by placing these food chains into a trophic pyramid. Here we have a basic trophic pyramid. At the bottom is our producers, like the balsam fir. In the middle, we have our moose, which is our primary consumer. At the top, we have our wolves, which is our secondary consumer. Each level represents the amount of biomass found in each area. For example, the producers at the bottom has the widest level. That means that there's the most biomass located here. The producers create energy using sunlight, and it goes through the process of photosynthesis. As it creates energy, this energy then moves up the pyramid. Only about 10% of the available energy can move from level to level. This is called the 10% rule. Population growth is limited by environmental factors, such as available resources, competition, and space. For example, the wolves are the only apex predator on the island, which allows them to have less competition when it comes to hunting. This helps their population to grow. Moose populations can grow because there is a great amount of biomass available for them to consume. Every environment has a carrying capacity. Carrying capacity is the maximum size that a species population can reach before the environment cannot support any more population growth. We had a great time at Isle Royal National Park. It was really neat to see how this environment works. And we got to experience some of the most peaceful, serene environments on the planet. We hope to visit again someday.